Next, I'm going to create a new function called calculate total price because we need to be able to calculate the total price based on how many products and the quantity of each product we have. This, I'm not going to pass any parameters, but I want to return something here. So I'll return and I want to use the cart state variable and I want to use the reduce method, which is basically going to act as a loop to loop over everything in our cart. And I need to create a callback function here where I pass total and item as parameters. And from here, I need to use the total parameter and I need to add the item dot price. And I'm also going to include a default value of zero just in case. And then I need to multiply by the item dot quantity and I want to set this to a default value of one and you guys are going to see that I'm running into an error here because I accidentally made these curly braces when they need to be normal parentheses so I'll go ahead and change that and then we need to include zero at the end of this tap here for more